Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to do this makeup look because I haven't been active on my YouTube lately and I've just been really inspired to do this look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look then please keep on watching. So the first step is I will grab a Morphe M441 brush and I will grab the color Love That from the James Charles Morphe palette and I will just pack that color onto my crease and as you can see I'm lightly packing that color. Eventually I will be buffing that color out, not blending it quite yet, just buffing it out to make sure I distribute the color among my crease. The next step is I will grab another brush and now I will continue to blend the color. Now this time I will actually extend the color and bring it out into my eye. Now I am grabbing a different brush and I am grabbing the color Skip and I am making sure I pack that color right under the color Love That to add a different dimension. And then I'll go back to the first brush I used and I will just blend that color out and as you can see it adds a different color, different dimension to the eye. Now this look is kind of messy. It's not something that you have to be super careful with so you can just blend it out without feeling guilty. Now this doesn't have to be perfect so do not worry if you get any fallout. Next I will grab a smaller brush and I will actually bring that same color love that into my waterline and I am actually bringing it back into my crease just to deepen up that color right under the color skip. Now I grabbed a flat brush and I am just using the color single and I am mixing it with the color escape just to deepen up the outer crease and the hood of my eye. As you can see it actually looks way different. Now I skipped a step but I actually used my tart shape tape and I put it in my the middle of my eye and then I grab some glitter and I just pat it down and I kind of cleaned it up with a blending brush. The next step is to do some liner so as you can see I just go from the outside corner and the in and then I just kind of connect everything to make sure it looks like a straight seamless line instead of just having the liner like that. And now I have grabbed some white mix liner and I'm just trying to be as close as I can to the edge of the line I have before. So this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.